the Maldonado family has been an inspiration to more people than they know. Guadalupe Maldonado and her husband Ishmael migrated to the United States with hopes, and dreams, and aspirations for their family. Guadalupe knew that clear and consistent communication with teachers and school staff would be the key to success for her two sons. But now knowing English was a huge barrier. With her determination, strong, with her strong determination, by the time her youngest son, Diego, was in kindergarten, Guadalupe worked with the school's principal to start a family literacy program with the support from, the Toyota, from Toyota and NCFL. Guadalupe and Ishmael have instilled in their sons the value and importance of education and setting goals for their careers. Both sons have achieved much success in school and in their careers. Guadalupe, Ishmael, and Jose are now U.S. citizens. Guadalupe hopes... <laughs> Guadalupe's hopes and dreams for her family have become a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Guadalupe and Diego Maldonado to share with us their moving story. This program changed our lives. She never gives up. She's so hardworking and she's always going around like even if the path isn't straight she'll find a path that eventually leads into the end goal. If it wasn't for this program I never can do that. I never. Believe me because it's, the, it's a very change, a big change in my life. Maybe people see the same. Sorry, I'm very short. <laughs> you know, huh? Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Guadalupe Maldonado. I came, from the, I came to this country 20 years ago. I came up like a many, and I came to this country with nothing. I came to this country with my son, Jose, when he was only two years and eight, and eight months old. When we came here, we live in a garage. My husband Ismael has to fix up. There were a lot of holes in the walls. He has to patch up the, so that we can be cold at night. I still remember our bed, it was a mattress on the floor, but the three of us were finally together. It was so sweet and wonderful seeing Jose finally reunited with his father for the first time since since my, my husband came to the U.S. So only Jose, only Jose saw his father through pictures since my husband had to come to this country when Jose was only four months old. I remember one night I told my husband, you know, I have to look for a job so we can move to a better place. I don't want to Jose continue living like this. But he told me, I believe that if you really want to help, why you don't you go learn English? That way, when Jose starts school, you will, be, you will be able to help with his homework and education. Jose was only three years old when I went to register for English classes, but they told me there was no more room. Jose started preschool at Miller Elementary, and when the gate opened for Jose, there he dreamed an hours just beginning. Jose's preschool class need parents volunteers to help with the, home, with the class, such as cutting paper on working with the kids. So I decided to help volunteer, so I called help my son. His class was a bilingual class, which helped me because even, even though I didn't know English, I could still help the teacher out. My goal was learn English, but there was no nearby adult school for me to attend. I practiced English with the videos and books that, the, that Jose's school led me. One of the moms voluntary in my son's class informed me that was finally room for me to enroll in English class. The problem was that was only offered two times a week and they didn't offer daycare. Another problem was that we didn't have a designated classroom so we used to study and learn English at the lunch tables at Mailer, where the kids will eat their lunch. If the lunchroom wasn't available, 
will have to go outside to the auditorium to learn English. It was so difficult because sometimes it will be rain or it will be really cold. And we didn't have a classroom to protect us or to house us again the elements. When I saw the number of the parents going to learn and I saw their hunger and decide to learn English, I went to go see the principal at Mailer at the time, Miss Nancy Luck, at her office. I went and talked to her about how the parents were struggling to learn English because of the weather. Thankfully, she was able to assign us a classroom. At the time, I was president of ELAC, which was the English Learning Advisory Committee. During the ELAC meetings, I will invite the parents to register to learn English at Mailer. I also will go door to door around the community to gather signatures so that I could present them to the principal, Ms. Locke, so she could see just how urgent with the parents need, need an adult school. A lot of parents were registering as soon enough the classroom that Ms. Locke assigned us was insufficient. Many of us that registered still had children that were not old enough to attend elementary school. So we have to take them to the class with us. As you can imagine, the room was full, the parents trying to learn English, and our children who we didn't know have enough anyone to look over them while we were learning. So we the parents had to take turns looking over the children and playing and interacting with them while the parents were learning English in the same room. One day during the morning, Annette Sikitich, our English coordinator, told me the San Pedro Adult School will be donated to us to bungalows but we need to find room to be able to set the three bungalows up. The next day, I went to Miss Locke's office again. When I knocked the door, Miss Locke told me, come in. And with a great smile in her face, she asked me, what's going on, Miss Maldonado? I told her San Pedro Adult School was willing to donate to us three bungalows, but we need somewhere to be able to put them. So she told me that she was going to talk to her supervisor to see what she could do. I implored to her to please help us to tell her, as you can see, there is a lot of parents that want to learn English. One Friday morning, when we, did, we didn't have an English class, my phone rang and it was Miss Locke. She told me, Miss Maldonado, can you please come to my office? I live across the street from Mailer, so I told her I will be there as soon as possible. And I hang up the phone and ran to see her. When I got there office, when I get to her office, she told me, please have a seat. I only called you to tell you that, that here is the room for the three bungalows to be placed here on the Mailer campus. It was beyond exciting from hearing the, the good, good news. I turned to her in the name of all of the parents, I promise that when Mailer needs help, an adult school will be there always willing to help. Finally, we are able to start learning in our own classrooms and thus the Mailer Adult School come to life. Jose was in a middle school and my, young son, my youngest son, Diego, was going in the first grade. I was finally able to learn English and practice it with my teacher and in other parents in the classroom. I also began to work by cleaning houses and I was still making time to attend my English classes. I was, willing, I was juggling both working, working, learning English and being present in my children's education and I, I was able to, to help my, hus my husband financially as soon after we were able to move into our own home. We didn't need to live more in the garage and we didn't need to rent anymore. We could finally move into a place where we could now call our own home. When Toyota, <laughs> 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 
when Toyota and NCFL arrived to Amelier, it was a very special moment for, our, for us all. Now, the children had a dedicated teacher, and money was in base in computers for both the children and the parents to learn how to use them. When summer came, our own of the children were on summer vacation. Now the parents had no problem looking for someone to take care of them, since we now had the child care center where they could go to learn and be well, take care of while we while we with we there in the in class learning English. Another benefit was part time, where the parents could be able to go with their children and engage with them. This was a specially dedicated time for both the parents and the children to be together because it's important for parents to be involved with their kids and their education. This also, this also showed the children that their parents were involved and cared about their education. When Jose was on vacation, he's, he would go volunteer at the, at the child care center. He would help the, take care of the children as well, as help teach them about computers. When Jose was about to start college, he told me that he wanted to be a movie director. And I asked him if he was sure, and he said, yes, he was. And he wants to be like Guillermo del Toro. He always admired him, and he want to be like him. He graduated from California State University of Long Beach with a bachelor's degree in film and electronic arms, theory, and practice of cinema. He now works for Framework Studios, and he is in love with his job. <laughs> he doesn't mind having wake up at three o'clock in the morning to go to work. <laughs> in May of this year, Diego graduated from California State University of Long Beach. He graduated with two bachelors, one in math and the other one in economics. Turn to the classes. <laughs> Turn to the classes Toyota offered. I was able to learn how to guide my children and understand how to help them whenever they have a problem in the school. Diego and Jose were always enrolled in honor classes, and they were able to receive a scholarship due, due, due to their good grades. Now, I currently work at JCPenney, and I am in charge of the men's department where I help my customers with any question that they have. I can speak and interactive with my customers because I was able to learn English. Turn to the Mailer Adult School. Now I see the importance of being able to speak two languages. In this country, thanks to this program and to, and to the fact I was able to speak English and I was able to pass my citizen test. And now my husband, my son, and I are a citizen of this beautiful country. In this country, nothing is impossible. While we may not be easy, I always remind my two children the importance to, the importance to the, of never give up on their dreams. Sharon, and name all the, all the families attend to Mailer Adult School, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all your orientation. Thank you for always looking for ways to help and get the sponsors involved in to, like Toyota. Thank you for all your help, support, and time. And I want to thank you a million times. Thank you, Toyota, for continuing to support adult school and so that they can continue staying open and helping families meet their goals like we did. Happy anniversary, NCFL and Toyota. We are very thankful for all that you have done, but don't think that you don't. And I don't think you both are of, of the hood yet. There are still a lot of families that need your help. We have at least another 30 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm to be. So don't think, Sharon, you're done. <laughs> think about, uh, don't think about the, your retirement. Don't think about, <laughs> don't think about you don't Toyota because we need you. We love you, Sharon. We love Toyota. Thank you for all your support. Good evening, everyone. My name is Diego Maldonado, and I am a testament to the success of the Toyota Family Literacy Program. Hola, mi nombre es Diego Maldonado. Tengo 24 años y soy un testimonio del éxito del programa de alfabetización familiar de Toyota. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Diego Maldonado des. Watashi wa niju yonsai de Toyota Family Literacy Program no Seiko no Akashi desu. <laughs> I am the son of two immigrant parents who came to this country with nothing but hopes, dreams, and aspirations. The hope of a better life, not only for them, but more importantly, for their children. Neither of them could speak a word of English when they arrived in the United States, and they started off living in a beat-up garage that my dad had to patch up so that they wouldn't feel the cold winters. When I was born, we were living in the garage, but it was better suited and more insulated, so it was better adapted to live in. My mom was always involved in our school and always stayed on top of us. She took some English classes whenever they were offered at a church across the street from my elementary school, but it was not something that was reliable since they were offered only every now and then. But with the little English she learned, she used it to talk to teachers and administrators when my brother was in elementary school. Then my brother moved to Stephen White Middle School and I was going to be starting Myler and my mom knew that she had to improve her English to better help us in school and to communicate more efficiently with our teachers. It was then my mom worked alongside the principal, Ms. Nancy Locke, to open the Myler Adult School. The school received a grant from LA's Toyota Family Literacy Program, sponsored by Toyota Motor Corporation, and the National Center for Families Learning. I was one of the first kids who walked through the doors when the Myler Adult School opened, and I was one of the first ones to take advantage of all the opportunities and resources. I was able to improve my math skills during childcare, and while my mom was in class learning English, I was learning about computers. It was the first time I had ever used a computer, and it opened my curiosity and my hunger to learn new things. Being able to spend time with my mom during pack time allowed me to bond with my mom and learn new things at the same time. Pack time was crucial because not only was I learning, but my mom was as well. She was learning to better teach me how to read, write, and do my homework, and how important learning was. Spending my summer at Myler Adult School allowed me to get ahead, so by the time the new school year came around, I had already practiced what I was going to learn that year. Reading also occurred during pack time. I loved reading and continued to do so all the way through college. Reading allowed me to expand my vocabulary and improve my reading and comprehension skills. My mom became even more involved in my school now that she was learning more English, and that helped me excel in school. I knew my mom had every teacher's number on speed dial, <laughs> so there was no way I could slack off. But all jokes aside, I knew that my mom was invested in my education, so I had to be even more invested and do my best to excel in my classes. When I was in middle school at Stephen White, my mom still put me first as she had before, walking with me to school to drop me off and then walking back to her English classes. She would walk two miles every day during the week on top of still having to go home and clean and cook, and have the house ready for when we got home doing all the typical household duties. Parent conferences, open house, she was there every single time. Now that her English was a lot better, thanks to the adult school at Myler, she knew everyone at Stephen White. My teachers, the principal, the assistant principals, the secretaries, and even the school nurse to make sure they had my inhaler. 
My mom fought for me to be enrolled in honors classes and did not stop even chasing down the principal to make sure I was going to be transferred to the honors program. It was thanks to this that I got into the STEM program but, and I was able to build robots and learn about physics and math. With the early exposure to computers I got at the child care center at Myler, it all seemed second nature to me and the robot my group built with my lead was able to rank fourth in a city competition in Los Angeles. In high school, I continued taking honors classes and even took some advanced uh, placement classes, or AP classes for short, to challenge myself in school. Seeing my parents work so hard motivated me to not only do my best, but to give it my all every single day. Seeing my dad work construction and getting home tired, but still helping my mom at the house, showed me that I had no excuse to say I'm too tired to study or to do my homework. Seeing my mom so involved in my school and seeing her study English and still doing everything to take care of the family motivated me to work hard and make my parents proud. I knew they were doing everything so I could get the education that they were never, never able to. Seeing them tired at the end of the night, sometimes falling asleep, made me realize how lucky I was to have parents that cared about me and did whatever it took for me to succeed in school. I continued to do well in high school, and my mom did not take her foot off the gas pedal. She continued to have perfect attendance during open houses and parent conferences. <laughs> and as you guessed it, she still continued to have my teacher's numbers on speed dial. It came to the point that my teachers were asking my mom what she was doing there, since I was doing so well in my classes. But that didn't deter her from going. She would still show up for the second round of parent conferences to make sure I was still doing my part. One of my teachers, Dr. Amy Radovich, was shocked to see my mom during the parent conferences. Usually, she doesn't see many parents go, but by the second time, she had gotten used to her and was close to my mom. During one of the open houses, she was talking to my mom, since she was the only parent there, and she told her that if there were more parents like my mother, then graduation rates would be much higher and more students would be succeeding in school. And I couldn't agree more with that. Parent involvement is, a crucial, is crucial to a student's success in school. And this is why programs like NCFL are crucial to see that more children are graduating and destroying barriers. I graduated with honors from high school with two scholarships under my belt. I then went on to community college to continue pursuing and furthering my education. I wanted to follow my brother's footsteps by going to college and then transferring to a university. We were the first generation in our family to go to college and university. And all of this was possible thanks to Toyota and NCFL for investing and donating to our adult school and family literacy program at Myler. I was one of the first ones in the Myler family literacy program, and here I am, 15 later, having graduated from college this past May. <laughs> Thanks to this program and its core belief that parents and children learning together can overcome any obstacle, my family has greatly benefited from its creation. I have my associate's degree in mathematics from El Camino College, and I transferred to California State University of Long Beach, and I double majored and graduated with two degrees from there. <laughs> Thank you. I have my Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Economic Theory, and I have my Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics. <laughs> Everything I shared with you also applies to my brother. My mom, stayed on, my mom stayed right with him all the way through college, and my dad supported both of us. My brother has his Bachelor of Art in Film and Screenwriting, and he works in a production company called Framework Studios, and he is creating content for films like The Avengers, Star Wars, It, Jurassic World, and that's just a few movies that he's working on. And just recently, this past week, he was promoted to being a producer there. I am currently working on a research paper with one of my professors from school 
who was captivated by my paper and presentation, so we are now working on publishing the work I did and expanding on it. I plan to go to graduate school next fall to continue furthering my education and getting my master's in economics. <laughs> I am so proud to tell you that my parents are US citizens and they now have their own home, so no more living in the garage suffering from the cold. <laughs> my family is a testament to the success and the importance of family literacy programs in school especially those of low income, to help the families grow and better themselves. As Kentucky Louisville legend Muhammad Ali said, impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact, it's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration, it's a dare. Impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. NCFL and Toyota have helped my family see that impossible is potential, that it is temporary, and that it is nothing, because together as a family, we can do anything we set our minds to. <laughs> it is thanks to programs like this that my family can stand here and share our story with you all. And my family is one of hundreds of thousands of families that have benefited from programs like this, which is why it is crucial for them to continue doing the wonderful work that they do. As Muhammad Ali said, don't count the days, make the days count. Thank you, Sharon Darling, for believing in us since 2004 and for fighting for us and helping me and my family live the American dream so that my, that my parents sought for when they came to this country with nothing. Toyoda-san, Hayakawa-san, Moshi wakarimasen ga, Watashi no Nihongo wa kanpeki de wa arimasen, Zenkai jugyo o uketa no wa koko deshita ga ganbarimasu. Kazoku no shikiji ritsu kojo programu e no keizoku tekina このプログラムのタスクを くれたか、そしてそれでは、私たちに成し、成してごることを許してくれたことに感謝し、感謝しています。どうもありがとうございました。Thanks to Toyota for believing in the program and for funding it and helping families like mine help overcome obstacles and create a better life for ourselves. To NCFL for believing in the power of family and unity in helping families grow and succeed. To Annette Sikitich, who is like my guardian angel and was the principal of Myler Adult School, who always gave her time for the families and the moms in the program and always looked out for everyone involved in the school who used her own resources to make sure the moms had what they needed to learn. Annette, to this day, has always been there for me and seen me grow and has supported me in more ways than she can imagine. 
and most importantly, to my parents, who sacrificed everything for me and for my brother, who used what they learned in the program to help us in our classes, and for pushing us and showing us that nothing in life is impossible as long as you have the will and the desire to achieve it. I wouldn't be standing here tonight without them and without this wonderful program. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for changing our lives for the better and for an allowing us to be here to share our story with you all. Muchas gracias. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you. Thank you.